Hey there, my name is Tracy from Randomness of Rudy, and in this video we're going to talk about Scorpio in a relationship with Sagittarius. This is a part of my YouTube series, The Scorpio Experience, where I take a look at Scorpio in a relationship with each sign of the zodiac. So if you haven't seen the first video I did where I go a bit more in depth on what it's actually like to date a Scorpio, please go back and check that out. I have to laugh at this match. Um, just like Scorpio and Gemini, I never quite understand how Scorpio and Sagittarius come together. I, I see the initial draw, I see the initial fascination, but as far as this relationship going the distance, um, the only way that will work is if both signs can put forth the effort in providing what the other needs, okay? And I'll get into that. Um, but if we look at the elements alone in, in this match, it definitely spells trouble. Um, Scorpio is a water sign, Sagittarius is a fire sign, and those two elements alone just don't go well together. Um, and And how this plays out in the relationship is Scorpio being a water sign, you know, really values emotional connection, um, really values, you know, the intimacy that comes with relationships and, and really genuinely enjoys merging with another person. And the other thing to look at is the fact that Scorpio is a fixed energy. So Scorpio is an energy that is about commitment and, and prefers a sense of predictability um, in his or her life. And a especially in his or her relationships, okay? Sagittarius couldn't be any different. Uh, as a fire sign, Sagittarius is a ball of energy that is constantly, always on the go. And the other thing about Sagittarius is that this is a, a sign that can be very flexible and, 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 and has this really great ability to change his or her energy. Um, and so there's this fickleness that comes with Sagittarius. In other words, Sagittarius isn't an, isn't an energy that can sit still for too long. And so this type of adventurous uh, drive that comes with Sagittarius and the fact that Sagittarius is a sign that likes to explore, explore and, and get out of his or her environment and and is a sign that requires a very long leash. Um, these are the types of traits that will leave Scorpio feeling uneasy in this relationship. And on the flip side, because Scorpio has this need to attach, um, this is something that may very well um, scare Sagittarius and push Sagittarius to essentially walk away from the relationship. So when it comes to building something long term, it will be really, really important for both of these signs to not only understand what is needed from each other, but also put forth the effort to provide that, okay? Scorpio will, is going to need a lot of reassurance from Sagittarius, especially if, if Sagittarius intends to do his or her own thing um, without necessarily maintaining uh, a deeply committed bond with Scorpio. And on the flip side, um, Sagittarius, as I said earlier, is going to need a very long leash and if Scorpio can provide that, um, Sagittarius will come back, okay? But again, you know, these are very important differences between you that you'll have to learn to accept, respect, and work with in order for this relationship to go the distance. As far as sexual compatibility here, Sagittarius definitely stands to benefit the most. Um, but that is if Sagittarius can sit still long enough to actually enjoy the sensuality and the intensity and the raw emotion and passion that Scorpio brings to the bedroom. Um, and in the meantime, uh, Sagittarius is going to have to learn how to be present with Scorpio, especially when it comes to lovemaking, because that's the type of connection uh, that Scorpio genuinely enjoys the most in a relationship. So if Sagittarius can kind of work with Scorpio um, and, and provide Scorpio with what he or she needs in the bedroom, this can certainly be something that kind of offsets the other difficulties that are inherent in this relationship. As far as your disagreements, they're really going to boil down to two things. Um, Sagittarius' Sagittarius's need for freedom and Scorpio's need for commitment. Um, you know, this is what you both need on a core level. And if you restrict this from each other, this relationship is not going to go anywhere. So know this up front. Scorpio wants commitment. Sagittarius wants freedom. And if you can find um, a middle ground here, which is kind of based on what I said earlier as far as accepting your differences, respecting them, and putting forth the effort, then your disagreements will be few and far between. But you're going to have to find that common ground or this relationship is just going to be stagnant and nothing's going to happen here, okay? So it's, it's a tricky match. 
um, but it can still work if you're willing to put forth the effort and so keep these things in mind. If you want more information, feel free to visit my website at randomnessofrudy.com.